Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. The Linux awk command is used to match patterns and process text. Awk is actually an entire language for text processing and pattern matching, and I've actually already done uh, another video that was over two hours long, almost two and a half hours long, covering every detail you would possibly want to know about the awk command, so go check that out if you want to be an awk master. Now in this video we're going to cover the basics and just tell you, you know, the practical everyday uses of awk that you would normally use in typical situations, so this is the practical video for all the stuff you're really supposed to know. So awk the most common use case for awk is just to split lines into columns. So that's the main thing you're going to do with it. You can also search and filter for text, so you could, it, it, which kind of helps because you could search for text and split them into columns all in one command, so you don't have to combine it with the grep command. So, in any case, let's show you a basic example here of awk. So you you'd say um, we we have some files in this directory, so we can say awk, and we give it a print a command within these curly brackets and we quote the whole mini inline awk script we're doing here within single quotes so we can say print the actual command we want to run is print dollar sign let's say three comma dollar sign five comma dollar sign seven and we're going to put finish it like that and say test zero dot txt so that's our text file and hit enter and it's only going to print out these columns so if you look at test zero dot txt it looks like this it's split up by by spaces now i have a few other files i'm going to use as examples here i have test one test two and test three all split up by different things so test zero is split up by spaces so if you want to by default we're going to be splitting by white space so you can split this apart and basically this selects columns three five and seven so three and uh five and seven right here and you'll notice there are spaces in between them basically you say print and you give it three options you separate these uh, variables by that these each stand for a column and you separate them by commas and it's automatically going to space them out for you now it doesn't have to be that way you can if you choose not to put commas in there it's going to put them all right next to each other like that by default. <clears throat> now you can add in your own spacing manually if you want like this. So this will automatically just append this extra string with a space in it. So put two double quotes like that and a space and that will add a space there for you if you feel like doing it that way. So if you're doing more than just having stuff with spaces in between them this might be useful. You could do something like this for example. So you have more complicated output um, so this is good if it's more elaborate, but if he, you know, if you only want spaces in between them, it's good to know that you can just separate them by commas. And you can say something like this: my calls, and put a, put that there and there. So we're basically just concatenating strings with these variables right here. That's basically all we're doing there. So you can change the field separator to. Um, let's go back to this basic example separator with the commas. Now, you, let's say if you try this on test one, that's not going to be very useful because test one is separated by uh, slashes. So remember, cat test one looks like this. So the first space, the first white space is going to be the end of the line. So basically, columns three, five, and seven don't exist, so it prints out nothing. So that's a problem. So what we can do is we say dash f and specify the field separator, which is going to be a slash, just like that. Hit enter, and there we go. We're now uh, separating by fields like that. Now, same thing for two is going to be separated by colons. So we can, you know, use a colon. Same idea, right? We can use. Uh, let's see. Test three is just like this. So yeah, test three is separated by commas. So there we go. S same deal for test three. The, the files are identical except. For what I I split them up by now another common so that that's a, a very useful this gives you most of the usage for the awk command that the, in everyday practical use but one common use for it is to split piped 
content. So you're usually, you know, in, in the command line, a lot of times you're going to be piping one thing to another. You might pipe something into awk, split it up, pipe it into grep, search for stuff, and then pipe it into sed to replace items. Now you can technically do a lot of that, almost all of it, with awk by itself, but a lot of times people pipe between different commands. Your, your, your output could be coming from like a custom binary that was, or a custom application that was written, or but just about anything. But one common place to, to get output from would be ps dash ef so basically you know listing out the processes on the system you might want to split these up so you can do something like this you could say um, you could do the same thing print oops print um, and you might say uh, let's let's see here Let, let's just say dollar sign three to print column whoops column three and I did not type that properly. There we go. So print out column three. And it's splitting by spaces by default, so that's a little bit messy, right? So if you grab one like this, so you can grab column one like this and grab this column. You could also, you know, you, you could also split by colon and grab a, a whole set of columns like that. So now you're not splitting by spaces. You grab column two like that. So that's not super useful with this output. So yeah, you. any case, ju just to give you an idea of what you can do. Now, the other example I want to show you with awk is, let's see, you would probably want to see here. You, you can, all right, so this is a good place to show you how you can filter things. So TTY, all right, so we can say awk TTY and this is just going to filter things. So before it does any splitting or anything, the part that splits it would come after. So you can also just specify a filter like this and filter for TTY. Now what we could have done, see we were printing out column one here. So actually remove this, print out column one, right? Now we could have all right, so print out column one, and we could also combine this with uh, with a uh, <clears throat> search pattern, right? So you can say slash TTY, right? So you're gonna search for any line that matches the pattern TTY. And so this is gonna filter out all of those lines, only the lines that match that. And then this is going to go ahead and print out just that one column, right? Now, by so uh, let's give this a try, right? And there we go. Now, if we were to just remove the command to print, that's the command block, it will just filter them, so any line at all. So we only have three in here, but it'll give you the whole line. So it was actually matching like TTY right here, and uh, TTY, TTY. So it matches those lines no matter where TTY is. And then if you run the command to only print it to split out a column, you are then only going to print that column. It's still going to filter on that, so it's going to search anywhere in the line and, and match that string, but only filter, only print that column that you selected. So you could also do like column, let's see, three, four, five, six, say column six if you wanted, but it do doesn't matter which column you selected, it's going to search that whole line. So basically this first step of the awk command that you run, um, th this will search, this is basically like a mini script within a little little inline mini script. This will filter out, this filters out lines, and then this command here is run once on each line. So per each line, it will print out the sixth column, right? So that's, that's basically what's actually happening there. Now, another thing you can do with awk is you can, let, let, let's give this a shot. Um, let, let's search for, so you could search for anything with the, the term user one. So any process running as user one is going to match this, right? So a lot of the stuff running as root is not going to match it. Now you could say, you, you could, um, let's see, instead of trying to match for that, what we're going to do is we're going to run a different type of command. So in, instead of um, doing a print command, we so instead of saying print right here, we are going to say sub and we are going to match a value to substitute. 
and we're going to replace that with, um, let's say, user2, right? We're going to swap user1 for user2, and close this like this, and then we're going to say print. So we're still going to print the line. And then we're going to close this. So our entire oc little mini op oc script is in between these two single quotes, and inside these curly brackets is the command that we're going to run for every single line. And this sub is one command we're going to run, and print is another command. Now print, you can specify print, you know, column one, column two, or if you just say print by itself, it's going to print the entire line, right? So, so um, let's run this and see how it works. There we go. We swapped out user two or user one for user two. We don't have a user two on this, this system. So, yeah, we just swapped the name. In, in the output, right? Now we could uh, also, you know, we could make that a little bit more elaborate and say, you know, we, we could filter it too. So we'd say user one, so only the lines that match user one and then swap out user one like this, user one for user two. So match every, so what we're doing here is match every line that has user one and you're gonna substitute user one, substitute user two for user one and then print it out, right? So there we go. We've printed that out. Now we, we could swap that out for anything we want. So one, two, three, four. We could swap it out like that, right? So you know, you use this syntax to for a match string and then a quoted string as your replacement, right? So that's how you could replace things with su with a uh, awk. Normally you do that with said, but um, yeah, awk is also capable of doing that. And just in case you wanted to do everything all in one all with one command and you could also still say so you could also say instead of you know printing the whole line you could say dollar sign one and uh you know print the uh print column one right so if you if you just say print by itself it's going to print the whole line so you, you can combine that and make it even more elaborate so yeah print out that first column so basically you're going to filter lines that match user one then you're going to substitute user one. You're going to substitute one, two, three, four for the string user one. And then you're going to only print out that first column. And you could print out whatever other columns too if you choose. But uh, yeah, that's so. Th this way we are splitting out columns, we are substituting text, and we are filtering all with one command. So you know normally you know filtering you're going to do that with grep, and then you would pipe it to sed where you would you know substitute strings and then you would split it out with awk and I would still probably normally do that but uh, it is kind of nice that you can do it all with one command like this really really nice and easy so awk is pretty powerful like that so the the other thing I wanted to show you is a more full example so awk so that combined a lot of different features but I want to show you a fuller example in the sense that I want to show you all the parts of an awk script. Now you can actually make full scripts with this but that goes beyond the scope of this video. I want to keep this one a little bit more short but you can say begin so this is the beginning and then you can say print f sit and say call one slash t no call two slash t call three and <clears throat> slash n to do a new line and then we can wrap that up here now the begin block you're going to say begin that creates a begin block and everything between these curly brackets is the thing that gets run once at the beginning of the awk command that's the, the beginning of our awk script now our next block is going to be our main block so we're going to say print you can say dollar sign, you know, two, and put a tab in there, and say dollar sign three, and put another tab in there, and let's see, make sure we quote it properly, and say, uh, let's say dollar sign seven, right, and close it with a curly bracket, then we can say, so this, this this block of code gets executed for every line. So this is once at the beginning. This is executed for every single line. It's going to print each of these columns. So we're going to print out the header at the beginning, and you're going to print out each column that you split out for each line of the of the file or each line of input. And you will then say 
and you can then say end and say print and let's see how we want to do this you can say print just say print out done just to say that we're done and close it up like that and let's just do this for test1.txt all right so we missed that output up a little bit so we're going to actually you know change this so we changed a new line to a tab and making sure we're using test zero and there we go so it ran you know this begin part here which printed out the header then we run this part here that prints out all the columns one for each line of the file and then the end so that just runs prints out done once at the end now let's see what else do we have for the awk command so you can use a very another quick thing i should show you um yes let's see awk you can use a variable to count um, the total number of matches so just a quick somewhat useful thing that you can do say test plus plus c end print total and c so basically we match every line every line that matches the word test and we are going to for each line we're going to increment this variable c and at the end we're going to print out the value of that variable c now let's pick a pick a string that we know is going to match say user one and finish our close our awk script like that and there we go 83 lines match um 83 lines match that uh, string so there we go that's how we can count those up and that's that's probably more that i should have shown in this video remember check the links in the description for more info hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this we also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding hardware software servers raspberry pis 3d printing and a whole lot more hopefully you found this useful Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.